Betrayals can be devastating, especially when they come from those we trust and love the most. Whether it's a partner who cheats, a friend who betrays a confidence, or a family member who breaks a promise, repeated betrayals can leave us feeling hurt, angry, and stuck in a cycle of pain. But it doesn't have to be this way. Breaking the cycle of betrayal is possible, and it starts with understanding why it happens and how to move forward. In this article, we'll explore the psychology of betrayal, the effects it can have on our mental health, and some practical steps you can take to heal and move on from the pain of repeated betrayals. So if you're ready to break free from the cycle of betrayal and start living a life of trust and happiness, read on. Betrayal is a complex phenomenon that can take many forms. It can be a single act of dishonesty or a pattern of behavior over time. Repeated betrayals are especially damaging because they erode trust and create a cycle of pain that is hard to break. Understanding why people betray us can help us make sense of our experiences and begin to heal. Some common reasons for repeated betrayals include a lack of empathy, a need for control, and deep-seated insecurities. People who lack empathy may not be able to understand the impact of their actions on others, while those who need control may use betrayal as a way to exert power over others. Insecurities, such as a fear of abandonment or rejection, can also lead people to betray those closest to them. Breaking the cycle of repeated betrayal requires us to recognize these patterns and understand that we are not responsible for the actions of others. We can only control our own responses and actions, and by doing so, we can begin to regain our sense of power and agency. Betrayal is often a cyclical pattern that can be hard to escape. When someone betrays us, it can trigger a range of emotions, from anger and hurt to sadness and confusion. These emotions can cloud our judgment and make it difficult to see the situation clearly. In response to betrayal, we may try to distance ourselves from the person who hurt us or seek revenge. While these actions may provide temporary relief, they can also perpetuate the cycle of betrayal. By pushing people away or seeking revenge, we may inadvertently create situations where we are more likely to be betrayed again. Breaking the cycle of repeated betrayal requires us to take a step back and assess our own behavior and responses. We need to be honest with ourselves about our own patterns and triggers and work to break the cycle of reacting in ways that perpetuate the pain. Repeated betrayals can have a profound impact on our mental health. They can lead to feelings of depression, anxiety, and low self-esteem. They can also erode our sense of trust in others and in ourselves. Over time, the emotional toll of repeated betrayals can take a physical toll as well. Chronic stress can lead to a range of health problems, from high blood pressure to weakened immune systems. Recognizing the impact of repeated betrayals on our mental and physical health is an important step in breaking the cycle. By prioritizing our own well-being, we can begin to heal and move forward. Breaking the cycle of repeated betrayal requires us to take a proactive approach to our own healing and well-being. Here are some strategies that can help. Identifying toxic relationships. The first step in breaking the cycle of repeated betrayal is to identify toxic relationships. This may mean cutting ties with people who consistently betray our trust or setting boundaries to protect ourselves from future harm. Setting boundaries and sticking to them. Setting boundaries is an important part of breaking the cycle of betrayal. We need to be clear with others about our expectations and communicate our needs clearly. When someone violates our boundaries, we need to be firm in enforcing consequences and sticking to our limits. Practicing self-care and self-compassion. Practicing self-care and self-compassion is essential for healing from repeated betrayals. This may include things like exercise, meditation, or therapy. We need to prioritize our own well-being and take time to nurture ourselves. Seeking professional help. If the impact of repeated betrayals is too much to bear alone, seeking professional help can be a valuable resource. A therapist or counselor can provide a safe space to process our emotions and develop strategies for healing and moving forward. Rebuilding trust in relationships. Finally, when we are ready, we can begin to rebuild trust in relationships. 
This may mean starting small and taking things slowly. We need to be clear with others about our expectations and communicate openly and honestly. With time and effort, trust can be regained. Breaking the cycle of repeated betrayal is not easy, but it is possible. By understanding the psychology of betrayal, recognizing the impact on our mental health, and taking proactive steps to heal and move forward, we can break free from the cycle of pain and create healthy, fulfilling relationships. Moving forward requires us to let go of the past and focus on the present. It requires us to be honest with ourselves and others, communicate clearly, and prioritize our own well-being. With time and effort, we can break the cycle of betrayal and begin to live a life of trust and happiness. Betrayals can be painful, especially when they happen repeatedly. But breaking the cycle of betrayal is possible. By understanding why it happens, recognizing the impact on our mental health, and taking proactive steps to heal and move forward, we can break free from the cycle of pain and create healthy, fulfilling relationships. So if you're ready to move on from repeated betrayals, take the first step today and prioritize your own well-being.